Blue Sky Plan has new functionality to automatically generate an AI tooth in the space of a missing tooth. So it's not selecting a tooth from, an, from a tooth catalog or from a tooth library. We generate the missing tooth on the fly based on the patient's anatomy for the particular case. And in this training tutorial, I will demonstrate that functionality for you. So this is an early release of Blue Sky Plan version 5.0. If you'd like to try it out and test it, you could go to the Blue Sky Bio Facebook group and you could find releases or early releases for testing and demonstration functionality. A bit of a different look and feel, but version 5.0 of Blue Sky Plan is really the automation version because we have so many things running automatically. I'm gonna demonstrate how to add the missing tooth. I'm gonna to start by clicking on orthodontics and go to aligners. Now, while this is coming up, I'm just gonna mention that we have new unlimited monthly exports for aligners from Blue Sky Plan at a very, very low monthly fee. Again, you can see more information on our websites and in the Blue Sky Bio Facebook group. But again, that's new unlimited exports for aligners at a low, low monthly fee. So in this version, we organize everything across all of our digital platforms based on patient and treatment. So I'm going to select one of the patients that I have listed here. If you need to create a new patient, you use create new patient. And then either you select a treatment, what the patient's in for, implants, aligners, whatever, or you could click create new treatment. I'll select existing treatment I have, and then I'm going to select the relevant jaw. Now, before clicking next, this is very important because we have so much automation in this version, a normal aligner case we do all the data preparation steps completely automatically, whether it's traditional planning with optical scans only, whether it includes CT scans as well. We annotate segment the line. We do everything completely automatically. But if you're going to be adding or extracting the tooth for this particular case, then what you want to do is you want to go over to here to workflow settings. This pops out and click add or extract tooth. And what this is going to do, it's going to stop at the relevant steps instead of running the entire data preparation automatically it's going to stop at the relevant steps. So let me demonstrate that right now. I have add or extract tooth selected. And again, that's the workflow settings. We're gonna be using the workflow settings more and more in order to affect different automation that happens. You can look for the workflow settings for the different flows you're going to be doing. And then once we've selected patient treatment, the relevant jaws, click next. I'm going to select the relevant data sets by selecting the first one, holding down my shift key and then left clicking on the second one as well, and then clicking OK. Now we highly recommend the use of CT scans to import the CT scan as well. So you could treat the patient and do the teeth setup and the teeth movements with full anatomical data, including the roots of the teeth. Root-based planning reduces those mid-course refinement cases. So we highly recommend improving the CT scan. It's not required, it is optional. We're gonna show the traditional flow right now and I'm going to continue by clicking on next. Now we've added in this step as well, a powerful step that you could choose plan and manufacture for me. If you want help, if you wanna outsource your case, you wanna outsource the planning and the manufacturing, then just click plan and manufacturing for me. You'll have a prescription form that opens on the screen. The data will be attached automatically and you'll outsource your entire case. Full cases start at 499 for the smaller cases and 799 for those larger cases. We're going to click continue in Blue Sky Plan because we're planning it ourselves. And now the jaws are automatically aligned in space. If this wasn't a case with a missing tooth or, to or a case that we're adding a tooth, all the data preparation steps will be running automatically. Because we've selected that checkbox to add or remove tooth, we are now at this step. What we're going to do is click the add tooth button, select the relevant tooth position. We have automatically create AI tooth selected by default. And that's exactly what's going to happen. When we click OK, left click once in the relevant position. We have confirmation about the opposing arch because it takes the opposing arch into consideration as well. We click OK. And now our tooth is being generated. Once again, this isn't a tooth from a catalog or from a library. The tooth is being generated for the particular case on the fly based on the relevant anatomy. So we could see our tooth that's been generated right here. If necessary, we could use the widget for any movement or size modifications the user wants to do. But assuming that everything's okay, you could see the quality of this design tooth right here. Then you're just going to click continue. 
Now we're not running the automatic data preparation because we checked that checkbox to add tooth. So now we're just being taken through the steps. We could just confirm our annotation. If needed, just grab and drag any of the nodes, but you could see the teeth are being identified and annotated completely automatically, continue to segmentation. And we're just gonna run through the steps and confirm them visually, modify if necessary, and just continue with our planning according to the flow. We have many other videos discussing the planning, including our new automatic teeth alignments. And as a hack, if you have a case where you don't want the automatic data preparation steps to run automatically, even if you're not going to be adding or extracting the tooth, you could just check the check the checkbox and it will take you through the flow as it is now just to do each step, present it visually and confirm. We also have more options in properties where you could have particular steps run automatically and other steps require confirmation. I'll show that to you very quickly if you just go to tools, preferences. And here under orthodontics, you could see all of our automated steps and you could choose what you want to run automatically by default and which steps should not run automatically or more correctly, they should run automatically, but they should stop afterwards to show you the result so that you could review, modify if necessary, confirm, and then click next. So kind of like we have now, where it's showing us each individual step, we could confirm afterwards and click continue to proceed.